Okay, here's where we put that. E Necrotoxin destroys cells of any subject based on the E Series bioweapon model. Use only for disposal of E Series assets. The toxin must first be stimulated before use. Do this by placing a sample of the E Series cells into the necro Necrotoxin container. Now we can kill her. If it bleeds, we can kill it. Alright. We got the tool. Ooh, top secret. Alright, let's read it. Uh, the, this project was instigated in 2000 as one of several concepts for the company's uh, next best, next generation experimental battlefield superiority initiative. Working with technical assistance from HCF to develop a bioweapon for neutralizing combatants in mass with minimal direct contact. NextPass was later folded and all its assets diverted to this project. What makes this project markedly different from conventional weapons is, is its ability to turn enemy combatants into allies, converting hostile enemies into willing servants. Since it effectively emanates the cost of not only POW handling, but also combat itself, it's no wonder we had the Redacted and even Redacted's Redacted organization chomping at the bit to get on board. The project would have never existed were it not for the discovery and Redacted of Redacted. The remarkably progressed uh, vicariant evolution fungus that we commonly term uh, mutamocyte. The fabrication method for each bioweapon was to introduce the mutamocyte genome to a pre-stage 4 human embryo and perform cultivation in a controlled environment over a period of 38 to 40 weeks. The result organisms, organisms were referred to as candidate specimens and granted based on usability and the impractical and faulty. Series A through D to the perfected E series. A common appearance was selected for the bioweapons. That of a roughly 10 year old girl to ensure ease of blending in with urban refugee populations. The first series specimen named Evelyn has proved capable of secreting the mutamocyte redacted from her tissue at will. It is also of note that Evelyn's mutamocyte imposes a profound control over body and mind when introduced into a host organism. We still have a lot to learn about the mechanism by which Evelyn achieves and maintains its control, but the working theory is that the vector is similar to what autoinducer pheromones used for quorum sensing in Pseudomononia's bacteria. Evelyn's control is exerted in a series of discrete stages, the first of which is hallucination. Almost immediately after infection, the subject begins to see images of Evelyn, though she is not in fact there. Even hear her voice, which is inaudible to anyone else. Auditions with infected subjects throughout the stages of infection reveal that at first the phantom Evelyn appears to be a normal young girl, sometimes desiring companionship or assistance. As time progresses, she begins making more and more extreme demands, including self-mutilation and attacks on other people. The psychological shock that induces help to break down the mind's natural barriers to Evelyn's brainwashing effect, and by the time mental control is achieved, the mutamocyte infection has progressed with the body cells, so the body redacted. Damn. So that's what happened with me. Hallucinations. It was never there. It was all in my head. Let's see. we to pick up some stuff. This is the second to the last. Uh, item box. Yeah, keep everything. Actually... That should be good. Three of each. Alright, we got one more little piece of lore. Actually, two more? No, it's just... Ammo. Alright. One more little piece of lore. We're out of here. Evelyn's function... Evelyn's functions also include the ability to form organisms from mycelia. The fungal filaments. The term organism is used loosely here. Strictly speaking, they are superorganisms formed of countless uh, mycelia. What's important though is that they exhibit a strong survival instinct and will defend themselves ferociously with the slightest provoca uh, provocation. Uh, provoca can't, can't speak. Mm -mm. Yeah, provocation. Their fungal toughness and remarkable strength give them significant battlefield potential. Their researchers have called these superorganisms the molded. Made of mold and also molded as in shaped. Their name has a certain elegance to it. For the treatment of accidental infections, performing redacted on samples of Evelyn's body tissue produces a unique 
uh, fungicidal serum. Administering the serum to an infected subject will cause the mycelia to calcify, but if the subject's cells are already largely invaded, the serum will be fatal. Since the treatment window is so small, the serum's primary use is therefore disposal of infected subjects rather than a cure. In exploring the serum's potential, we found that subjecting it to redactive would enhance its effects to extreme potency, becoming a compound we now call e-necrotoxin, which redacted is in even tiny amounts. What's been interesting to observe in Evelyn's behavior is our obsession with the concept of family. In experiments, we found on multiple occasions that infected subjects were compelled to act as her mother or father, treating her as if she was really their daughter. Why did she settle upon family as the theme for her mental control? This is just speculation, but it could be that she instinctively understands that a family unit is better suited to blending in into social groups than a lone girl. On the other hand, well, a sentimental sort might suggest that she's making up for a perceived lack of love in her quarantined upbringing. A parent's love. Aww. Either the little girl just wanted to be loved by a family, or trying to blend in. I don't know. I don't know. Alright. Pick up that cassette tape. That away. I'll keep one. A lot of items, but I'll keep them. Uh, use the cassette tape. There we go. Second to last save. This is the fun part. This is the part everyone enjoys. I always fear there's gonna be a freaking... We call it bomb there. Like I said, right here behind these barrels is where the bobblehead is, but... I shot it from across the walkway so I don't have to worry, but it's right there. I believe that is the last one too. Go be heroes! Humming. She was singing, but she's humming now. Go tell Aunt Rhody. She ain't singing anymore. You first. Yeah! Take the medicine, this is why I brought so much. Nah, I'm dead. Two for one. Oh, you know what? I did forget a gun. Uh, this is gonna be interesting. You know, I... We'll see how this goes. I did forget one very important gun. Makes this extremely easy. We'll see how I do. <laughs> Damn it, Evelyn. There be a guy with a strong arm coming by. Hope he's not behind me. He's behind me. Sometimes they are behind you, you never know. I don't need that. You can tell they want you to have fun here. They're just 
giving ammo away. This is a good panic gun. That's why I call it the sit down gun. Need that. What I tell you, all kinds of good stuff. Cassette tape. Don't need any of that. Actually, I do need that. Take that. Take that. Um. Make a whole bunch of those. Dive. What was he jabbing at? All right, we'll see how this goes. May die here. Oh, maybe... Mm. Probably really gonna die. We'll see how it goes. Get these four though. Reload. Always reload the guns. Keep them hot. All right, let's go. Oh, if there was a sniper rifle in this game. Got him. Alright, we're gonna be alright, I think. Yeah. This would have been like ten times easier had I brought. I want you call it. Here's the thing that can ruin a lot of runs. People forget. That's booby trapped. That's booby trapped. Uh, there might be one more. Could be wrong. Maybe not. Rule of three. Usually rule of three. There's always. There's always three. Alternatively, I could have just stunned the giant molded and then beelined for the ladder. They can't climb. They can shoot you with the vomit though, so there is a chance you could just get you fall down and get stun locked. Then again, if you wanted to kill them, you just perch yourself right there and shoot down. All right, here we go. I do believe this is the last save for the game. Pick the map. Don't need the extra cassette, although it's nice to have. Yeah, I still got one more steroid. Take it, I guess. We'll save. Mm-mm. <clears throat> All right.
Either way, we got the guns. More or less the guns that we need. Ooh, grandma's little chair. This is the last bobblehead. Hallucinations. It's not here. It's gone. It's gone. E001. Evelyn. The grandma was the little girl the entire time. PTSD oh, flashbacks. This is your fault. Why am I seeing this? Ethan, it's okay. It's okay. It's me. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. Kill him, mommy. Oh, but you shouldn't have done that. Does it want to be my daddy? Then he can die. <laughs> it's mommy's turn to kill you. Let it be known. Never do anything to piss off a little girl. She will hold on to the grudge forever. <laughs> Creepy laugh. You're gonna be one of us. And then maybe you'll play nicely. I'm not playing. No! Get that away from me! Easily juked. You don't me. Not so easily Please. the second time. It's all in my head. Just gotta remember, it's all in my head. No. Sir. <laughs> With their little beaver teeth. Is away. Then right there, little girl. Time to take her medicine. and became the room Tommy Wusso I did not I did not okay. like all final Resident Evil bosses it's not the conclusion that's satisfying it's the journey Choppers. Freedom. That's 
That's right. It's kind of hard to miss you when you're everywhere. Think your size is a strength? You just made yourself a bigger target. Which is exactly what I need to be effective. I'm taking a lot of damage though. Jesus! Blood everywhere. Bah. I'm about to John Wick this. I need the Albert. Give me the Wesker gun. Gotcha. Finally over. Turned into a bunch of Jenga pieces. How the mighty have fallen. In time. This is about like a seven hour run. I had a struggled for the first part. We've been done in Yeah, about five hours. Thank heavens you came. After I did everything. Christopher, my glad to see you. The fuck took you guys so long? Ethan, <laughs> they saved my waifu. Mia, you made it. I'm glad. Did I? They say that when one door closes, another opens. Well, a door closed tonight. And what a long night it was. But not just for me. Me and I weren't the only victims here. So were the Bakers. It was that thing, Evelyn, who made them that way. Umbrella. But now Evelyn's dead. <laughs> and she's got to clean up the mess. I had just come to terms with losing Mia. But now she's back and wants to start over. Thank you, Sam Double Agent. I appreciate it. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the run. Maybe this is where the next door opens. Actually, I really liked this game. The fun one was great. <laughs> That's a Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. That's another Resident Evil down. Only the only ones I got left to play for the year are uh, Revisiting 4 and 5 and 6. Good stuff. Cue the music. Yeah. Oh man. I don't know what it is about the Resident Evil series, but damn do I love it. Capcom They've They've turned things around. <laughs> Since twenty seventeen. They've completely like they were a sinking ship and people were worried, but Resident Evil seven was the beginning of them turning things around. Now we're either going to get an RE3 remake and with the RE2 engine, or Resident Evil 8. Either way, I'm ready. <laughs> mm -mm. 
was a good return to survival horror. It's a very, it's a very unique Resident Evil as well. Aside from being the only Resident Evil game you can play in VR, and it's also first person. But it's fun. It's very fun. I'd say this game is a joy to, to just, uh... It's been a while since I played last, since I last played, but... Uh, I'm amazed at how quickly like I got efficient again. It took a while, a long while, but once I did... Tons of fun. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's, uh... Resident Evil 7. We're not complete. There is two little DLC things. Uh, I guess you can call them chapters. I think they're chapters. Little DLC episodes. They're each each one's like an hour long. So probably gonna do that next. Uh, not tonight, but uh, Wednesday night. My next stream. I really do enjoy this game. It's pretty sad too when you think about it. They bioengineered a little girl and turned her into a monster. It's complete lack of I don't know, so many ethical. <laughs> like they broke every rule in the book. But, um, yeah, putting some links in the chat right now uh, to my YouTube and uh, my community Discord if anyone feels uh, interested in checking either either or out. You're more than, well, more than welcome to. Um, my YouTube channel is a little light. I've been uploading my uh, Resident Evil playthroughs. I have uh, Zero Remake, RE2 Remake, and... Uh, I'm working on getting 4, 5, and 6 put up in a Let's Play format uh, on YouTube. Also, uh, I'm working on getting uh, my Monster Hunter playthrough. Monster Hunter World. Uh, <clears throat> up in about 20, 20 minute, sometimes uh, 30 minute uh, Let's Play episodes. So that's always fun. I also do reactions to conferences, E3, you know, Nintendo Direct, stuff like that. So that's on my YouTube, but uh, on the Discord, you know, building a good community of a fellow, of uh, loyal uh, viewers, <clears throat> and uh, we uh, we talk about you know everything from comics to movies, anime. We got memes. Um, Discord's the best place to keep up with me. Uh, if you're interested in the stream and you like what you see and you want to see more, uh, I usually post there. Um, almost daily. What's going on with me? What games I'm playing? What games I plan to play next? If there's ever going to be a change in my schedule, uh, I keep I try to keep my up-to-date information there. But like I said, um, if any of those uh, interest you, you know you're more than welcome to uh, stop by, give it a look, join. And if not, then just hanging out with me at the end of the stream. I appreciate that too. <laughs> <clears throat> it's a very solid run. Aside from the beginning where I was stuck for like an hour and a half trying to get back into Resident Evil shape. I'm like, I, I can do this. I know how to play. Oh man, but once I started going, boom, it was just boom, 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 boom. Minimal I think I died like maybe four times. Aside from the one area I was like struggling. Legacy of failure we call those. But um Yeah, that's uh Resident Evil 7. Great game. Again, there's this is very uh, it's a very unique game and I like it for what it is. I know a lot of people don't um I think everyone, the census is that it's like, it's a good game. 
Not the best game, but it's a good game. It's like, we needed this to get back on track. Now that we are, it's interesting. Is Ethan ever gonna return? What's gonna happen down the line, Resident Evil lore? You know. More little girls getting turned into bio- or more bio weapons turn- turning into little girls and wanting to live as a little girl. Uh, reminds me of Clayface from uh, Batman, an episode of Batman. You know, you, you make uh, weapons and stuff and you grow sentient, you want to have a life, and you can't have it because you're just an experiment. Test tube baby. Not even a test tube baby. Test tube weapon. Very weird. Interest interesting stuff. Makes you think. But, um,. Yeah, it's a little... I don't want to say artsy, but... I don't know. I don't want to say it has more death, but... It's just... It's interesting, the route they went for... Umbrella being the good guys now. With Christopher, Mr. Redfield, leading the squad. I'd be interested to see where they go with that. That seems like he's doing more action-oriented Resident Evil 5 and 6 type uh, missions. Not really survival horror anymore, at least for him. Um, but yeah. So they're in an interesting direction and they got some choices. We can get some either returning legacy characters, which is always, you know, easy sell, or do we get some more new blood? <laughs> it's all I hope is Capcom takes their time. Probably gonna be PS5, Xbox, 2, whatever that ends up being called. <laughs> 2021, 2022 type game. But either way, I'm excited. And there's also Project Resistance, which I loved. I fell in love with the beta for that. Even though I know that's not... It's a Resident Evil game in skin, <laughs> in appearance, but it's more like Dead by Daylight, Resident Evil. Dead by Daylight got together and had a baby, that's Project Resistance. Ooh. Love the music. There's always a catchy guitar track. All the credits. This was the boss battle theme for um, Lucas and the barn with the two uh, bat molded. Yeah, so many good things. Atmosphere, virtual reality, um, return to form, so to speak, of survival horror. Lots of uh, atmosphere. It was, it's nice, it was nice to explore again, after the, uh, the action-packed, <laughs> um, linear campaign that is, a uh, 5 and 6. Those games have their place. I know people like 5 more than 6, I think 6 is like the, uh, the stepchild no one likes to mention, but I enjoyed 6. It's definitely more fun if you have a friend playing with you, but it's still good. I don't think it's people, uh, a lot of people, I don't want to say love to hate that game, but are just not fond of it. And again, not for everyone. They kind of went, they doubled down on the action, not so much the story, um, just went full on in the mechanics, didn't, uh, Trying to, trying to think, what are the, the names of the characters? It's been a while. I'll have to replay it again. I'm looking forward to replaying that one as well. <clears throat> but, again, as a return to form, just a balancing of the scales, so to speak. <laughs> it's a great game. Resident Evil 7 is... I'll never forget my VR playthrough. It will be with me. When I close my eyes and take my last breath, that is one of the things that's going to flash in my brain. I'm like... Resident Evil 7 Biohazard VR playthrough. 
Life-changing. Makes me think, is Resident Evil 8 going to be the VR title? And if it is, it'd have to be first person. Or there would have to be a first person uh, toggle or mode, but... Yeah. Can't say enough good things about Resident Evil in general. Uh, love all the games. I'm trying to think. I've only played main series. I haven't played a bunch of the spin-offs, but... Yeah. Uh, there's always, always time to visit those sooner or later, so... Revelation series... Um, Code Veronica... Outbreak series... Oh, I... I have a huge urge. I'm compelled to play the Outbreak series. And, in fact, I just might. Just sneak peek just to check it back. Check it out. I love the Outbreak games. Those are my first Resident Evils I ever played. The Bakers. Hmm. Interesting, the phone ringing. Three steroids, two stabilizers, 15 healing items, 77 item box. Oh. I opened the item box 77 times. I got all but four files? Yeah. Yeah, missed two coins. Got all the bubble heads. Restarted 29 times. And 25 of those times. Yeah, 24 of those times. We're in the very beginning of the game. I spent a lot of time getting used to aiming and the madhouse difficulty, but it's fun. Like I said, I definitely could have shaved two more hours off that time had I been a little more prepared and just, uh, I guess, mentally focused. But uh, it's pretty good. I, I finished it in the stream, so. Solid game. Solid game. I, I definitely have to do a tier list discussion stream <laughs> when I rank all the Resident Evils. I'm very interested in doing that. I think it'd be fun. My personal ranking. <clears throat> but, um, yeah. Uh, so that's it for tonight. I beat Resident Evil 7, uh, the main campaign. I'm probably going to jump into the DLC episodes. The I think it's End of Zoe and Not a Hero. Uh, those are each like an hour long, easily. Maybe like an hour and a half. Um, two hours if it's your first playthrough. So I'll probably beat them in like an hour and a half. Hopefully. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll probably do those. Uh, Wednesday night. Uh, November... what is that? I'm looking at the calendar. Basically, tomorrow night, uh, Wednesday the 13th, uh, 8 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, and, uh, those will probably be one more stream. I do enjoy this game, so any more I can get is alright with me, but, um... Yeah, uh, after that, though... I'm gonna take a little break before I do four, five, and six. Um, four is a personal favorite of mine. I uh, I usually play that once a year. Sometimes for myself off stream, other times on stream, just you know, hang out, talk to people, um, chat, especially. I've got a lot of followers that love Capcom games, especially Resident Evil. So uh, that should be fun. Uh, that might be either at the end of the month or beginning in sometime in December before everything. That ever, everyone's ever been waiting for since like 2015 comes out, one after the other. But um, yeah. But uh, Wednesday, Wednesday night, October 13th, 8 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. My next stream, we'll be doing a little more Resident Evil 7 DLC, and then uh, we'll, depending on how quickly I beat that, uh, I may jump into some other stuff. Uh, I'm gonna do some one-offs. Uh, before I play through another series, or if I do another game, um, we'll see. Death Stranding, I know, is happening right now. Jedi Fallen Order also coming out. Actually, this Friday, I believe. Fallen, Fallen Order, Jedi Fallen, Fallen Jedi, Fallen... The EA, the Respawn Star Wars game. I can't think right now. Very tired. <laughs> 
Um, so there's some stuff I'm looking forward to playing, but uh, we'll see. Um, but yeah, like I said, uh, on that note, I do like to thank everyone for keeping the chat lively. Ark Boba Fett, um, Sam Double Agent, Dim Kara, my moderator, my other moderator, Sanchezy, Sora, Fishy, um, Lady Bambi. Um, I think that's everyone uh, that was uh, having some really good conversations with me. I had a good time. Good time. Could I blah, 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 blah. learn to speak? I had a good time chatting with everyone. It's been a while. I've been on a bit of a hiatus, just uh, missing a few streams here and there uh, due to the, you know, uh, stuff happening in my real life. So, but I'm glad to be back. I'm going to try to be more consistent. Uh, so, we'll see. Um, uh, yeah, uh, like I always say, you know, thank you everyone for still hanging out with me at the end. I really appreciate it. Your viewership and your support never go unnoticed or unappreciated, so thank you again. Um, yeah, uh, it's time for the Truman Show outro. Like my number one model, the dad blood always says. Uh, uh. I just want to say to everyone that's uh, still here watching at the very end, no matter where you are, I just want to wish you all a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. And we'll catch you all Wednesday, November 13th at 8 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time for a little more Resident Evil 7. And then uh, depending on how quickly I get that done, maybe, you know, something for fun afterwards. But um, yeah, so other than that, uh, take care, everyone. Uh, this is me, Eagle the Visual Culturist, signing out, and I will catch you guys next time. Okay, good night, everyone.